Hello? Is that the lady that's making that flash over there? Did it say what? I thought it said no one. Or Owen. Can you do that again with the antenna on the round thing? I don't think that's me setting that off. Is it pointing, was it pointing towards me, the bars? Ooh, that's kind of like that creepy moan in aisle 10 a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of sounded like that, but it had like a demonic sound to it. Like, ooh. <laughs> Whoa. What was that? It's the motion. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I'm too far away to set that off. I, I'm trying not to move. I'm not going to move it at all. Ooh, I'm getting that headache again. You should put that motion thing Do you have it? by the door. Not, not, not yet? yet? It was like a surge right here. Right in the third eye that. area. Ooh. Thank you. How many spirits are here with us? Can you talk into the boxer with the rainbow lights? You see the rainbow lights and the little red light on the side? If you could talk into that, we'd appreciate it. It's just so disgusting. Even if you don't want us here, you could talk into this. <coughs> I thought I said thank you, or something you. You, something you. Did you say thank you for something? I think I cussed at you. I said something like something like that. I thought it said F you. Oh, you did? Yeah. That's this, what I thought. And this says disgusting. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> that, that, that's what I kind of said about you. And the REM pods don't go out very often. No, they don't. This is the most I've seen them go off. Evil. 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 Ooh, oh, no. oh, that was creepy. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> it had that sound. Why are you saying evil? Are you just trying to scare us? Or is there somebody evil here? Are you playing games? Sometimes they think I'm evil. I don't even have to say I'm evil. Oh, really? So they're either confused by what I am or they're just messing with us. It's hard to say. But yeah, I've had them do that in Locke and Modesto, I think, too. It says you. One of my tours, I, we used to go to the... Did you ever go to the Ambulance Call Center field? Mm -hmm. That place is quite, quite haunted. It's by the... You know the black building on McHenry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's like this carpet store and then... Oh, a that little house that they turned into an ambulance? Yes. And yes. They, they, were, they were, I guess, a few of them. The, the light. Oh. Do you want to go to the light? And uh, that place is really active. Really? They, they would tell me, call, they, they would say call center, help, ambulance, they'd say my name. Oh. <coughs> what is happening? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, I said what is happening. Didn't they say that earlier? Are you confused? I'm sorry. We're just here to talk to you. Yeah, we mean no harm or disrespect. <coughs> even though we can... All these things just let us know that you're here. Kind of say this. stuff to try to get you to talk. It's not right? nice, but... It just tells us that you're here. Well, they're really messing with We're that one over there. We need no disrespect. I have a weird smell. Do you smell it? Like a cigar smell. Cigar smell? Mm -hmm. Do you smell it? My nose is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's real strong. I need to smell it now. Yeah. That was my Kate. I hope that's not mine you're dropping there. Yeah. Do you smell it? I do. Yeah. It's right on my head. I can't really smell anything. It's really oh, yeah. strong. You right here. Oh, well, it's my allergies that are so bad. Logan. It says Logan. Logan. Is, Is there Logan? a Logan here? Oh man, that's a really strong smell. It just looks like I can't smell anything. I'm going to reset this just to see if it's... Do you guys like this? Okay. If you like this, you can keep touching. You can keep touching it. Apparently they like that device. 
It takes a little, quite a bit of energy for them to make that go off. I think it does. Can you tell me if it takes a lot of energy to make this REM pod with the antenna go off? Like you've been doing? Yes. I don't quite get the opera music, but we get that in places where they have opera theaters. So it's kind of, yeah, like Locke and here is a theater. Do you sing opera? If you're in the bathroom, can you make this device go off in here? It makes noise and lights. You've done it a few times now. But we haven't heard it in a while. Can you do that, please? Can you move around the bathroom? If you don't mind. We're trying to make, uh, we're trying to communicate with you as best we can. So if you want to tell us something. Positive or negative, you can talk to us. There's a lady that's coming, I forgot her name. You probably know her. Alicia. She's Alicia. <laughs> You're evil. Did you hear that? Yeah. Why do you think I'm evil? Are you talking to me in particular, or do you think I'm evil? What, why? Because we're talking to you? You think I'm evil? I'm not evil. Would you like help going to the light to see Jesus? You mentioned Christ earlier. I wish we got that in video. Are you looking for Christ? Do you want to be saved? Talk into this box here with the rainbow lights, please. If you need help, if you have a message, or even if you just don't want us here, talk to us, tell us. You might want to reset your K2 there, it's acting kind of weird. Just press the button on and off. Don't touch it. Did you hear that? Yeah. Were you talking to him or me? Did you not you not want to turn those lights on again over there on the little table? With the antenna? What about the one on the stove? Um. Let's say um. <laughs> um. Um. Are you confused? You probably would be confused by all these gadgets not knowing what they are, huh? They don't hurt you. They're just to let you flush to know that you're here with us. I could feel something touching my arm. You smell it? Mm -hmm. Cigar or cologne? Cigar, 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 cigar smell. Cigar stale. Is that Mr. Morgan smoking a cigar? Uh, cigar? Ooh, I could definitely feel it. It's like weird webby energy. It's, it's like pricking my hair a little bit on my arms. Can you walk by this pyramid on the ground? With the green red lights by the bed. Green lights. Green lights. Yeah, I heard green something. Yeah. Can you see the little green lights, the red lights on down here? Can you walk by it? Please. Is 
Is there anybody named Madeline here? What's that on there? Ooh, Sam. He got what? He got stoned. Stoned? That's what it sounded like. Yeah. I thought you said stoned. But I heard I'm Sam stoned. before that. Yeah. Are you Sam, Sam from room four? We talked to you last time. Remember Jason, my friend? The long hair? Do you remember him and his wife and his, his uh, daughter? I can't smell my nose. I hope you guys are going to be more chatty and active when the Alicia comes. Maybe she'll stir things up. Yes, Who's Alicia? Um, she's the docent from over at the city hotel. Oh, she no. checked people in. Yeah, the young girl is there. But she's had experiences in the building over here. Not the little one, but the one over from that. She said um, she was in the kitchen when she was like 11. She's only 19 now. And uh, she was preparing something and she heard rattling noises. And then she ended up finding out it was the, the rack that holds the knives. And one of the knives fell down in front of her. Oh, wow. And then another time she said uh, she saw a man, a silhouette of a man with a hat outside the window. And he disappeared right in front of her eyes. And she senses things by some of the other buildings, too. Like she won't go by certain buildings. <laughs> And she, did, she didn't tell anybody about the experience with the knives or the silhouette guy. Uh -huh. Jason? Did he say Jason? That's, yeah. what I, that's what I heard. Is that your friend's name? Yeah, he was yeah. Jason. You remember Jason? Wow. Yeah, Jason has had or has issues with a demon. Oh. Um, he said he's had it since he was a kid. But like I said, he's the nicest guy. He does kind of like dark things, like horror flicks. He's kind of like, he looks like a, um, like a heavy metal rocker kind of person, but yeah. really nice guy. His wife's really nice. But uh, I don't know. I don't understand that kind of attachment. Is there a way to get them off of people? You have to get probably the priest involved. Like an exorcism yeah, or kind of like a baptism exorcism, which I've tried to get people to do elsewhere. Like a Turlock home, she didn't want that, she brought a witch. Santeria witch, which made things worse, and of course they'd talk bad about me. I was just trying to help her, you know. And it, it was actually very stressful for me. I mean, it was it was affecting me adversely, and my friend too. You know, we're not charging her for anything. She didn't really cooperate. And it was attacking her kid, her parents, even when they were staying at the parents' place. Because they actually got out of the house for a while. Uh -huh. And um, the boy, I, he wanted to be killed in different ways, he oh, said. Really? I never actually met the boy, though. I was kind of afraid to. Yeah. And there's one point he saw a demon. I, you have what? I heard I have. Have you seen a demon? Is that what you're talking about? Do you see demons where you're at? See, I believe most spirits are in purgatory, which is kind of a Catholic term, but I've talked to spirits in the Brethren Cemetery by the mall, the Dunkards or the ba uh, German Baptists. Oh, yeah. They don't believe in purgatory. And they're, they're all German Baptists that are buried there. And they would talk to me and say, yeah, it's purgatory. Um, I've had one guy say that he was sent back by Jesus. I've had others say they're there for family. One woman in Acacia said she was here to help people. Kind of interesting. Now, because they can come in and out, right? They can, or do they, once they go to the light, they can't come back. Uh, I believe they can come back as angels, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's, I don't think it happens all the time. It's kind of like a rare thing. Yeah. Time, time of need or, and when they pass away, they can visit people, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and usually it happens shortly after the passing. Yeah. So that, I don't know if that's before they go to the light or after. It's hard to say. But, um, but yeah, earthbounds are definitely among us. Yeah. And some of them get stuck in portals with demons. And I've had, I've had situations with that where they're actually kind of like held hostage or captive. Oh, okay. 
and in that Turlock house, that was a situation where after I did two cleansings, some of them said, I'm going back to my father or, you know, thank, thank you. It's like, you know, they, they needed help. There was a Modesto home that had a demon where I, that was where she said she was going to her family. This is family. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And that one was kind of bad. That Modesto one was bad, too. It was right after the Turlock one, maybe a few months later. And uh, both places I got rashes, like weird rashes. Once was around the St. Benedict medal I was wearing on my chest. And I was thinking, okay, maybe it's a metal allergy, even though I wore it outside my shirt. And it bugged me for a while. Um, and then the second time at the Modesto home, it happened around my neck, like a choker. Well, the cord on it was fabric and it wasn't a choker. Oh. And the night, I think it was the second cleansing, I went home, I heard bangs on my wall behind the crucifix above my bed. And in the morning I woke up, I was itching, and I saw this weird light above the crucifix. And I had pictures, I don't think I have the pictures on my phone still. But I heard help. Do you need help? But I took pictures of this weird light anomaly above the crucifix, mm -hmm. with the lights on and off. And uh, that rash, that was a bad one. That actually lasted for weeks and it left welts. Oh, wow. That's the worst thing I've had Hate. happen. Hate? <laughs> Are you having trouble talking on here? I'm almost tempted to slow it down, but sometimes it makes it worse. Okay, we'll try slowing it down. It sounds like you're kind of talking fast on here. It might make it worse, it might not. I don't know why this periscope is just like stuck on. Hmm. No, it's pointing towards you. This one's not even flashing over here. You know, oh, you know what? It's not even on. Oh, battery's dead. Great. Yep, battery's dead. Yep, they're draining batteries. Oops. Please don't break my stuff. K2 is a pretty sturdy, but some of the stuff is breakable. Did you fall asleep? He said, God damn it. That did sound like it, God yeah. damn it. Are you, are you cast out for dropping my stuff? To get you entertained. I don't think you're close enough. I don't think you're close enough to that. <coughs> I think I'm going to take your case, too. Oh, uh, you got it? Okay. <laughs> Can I borrow that one? I think that's the one that does temperature. I kind of like that one. Yeah. There should be some other ones over here somewhere. You have another one? Okay. Okay, where is Christy? Uh-oh, that wasn't me. Were you walking by that? Can you do that again? Touch my green light, please, that I'm holding here. If you can make it flash colors. I think I hear Christy. Yeah, I think you're downstairs. Her voice is kind of travel. <laughs> Uh-oh, motion light, that wasn't me. I'm trying to be as sturdy as possible. Yeah, I don't think you're close enough either. Yeah, I'll try to be... Touch the green light. Yeah, that was the bear. Like it does do that. I don't know why it does that. No, it, it went. Like you knocked on the wall earlier. Maybe. Just waiting for those last two to hit. Huh. Can you see the green light I'm holding? Can you see it? Can you make it? That was like a full sentence. I don't know. That was like a full sentence. I'm trying to talk on there. 
Did it say that? I'm at 15%. Oh, my phone's probably almost dead too. I gotta turn this off. Hello? You saw something? Oh no, it's the thing's 